what hit the market was actually Lighthouse, Lighthizer's conversation, the discussion, the testimony that he's going through, throwing cold water on how aggressive Trump has been with his positive comments. So th that's, that's what you have to watch out for. And also, you know, Cohn's testimony. I mean, this is just an unbelievable day. This is the trifecta if you're interested in TV news. So that also started to hit the market. That's dissipating a little bit, but I do think that you want to pay attention to what Lighthizer's saying, and does this change the dynamics? In other words, after Cohn's testimony, does Trump need to get a deal that won't be the best deal? So I still think it's a pop and a sell in the news best case on a deal. He is a Lighthizer that is being a bit more measured than we've heard from, from President Trump lately, whether it's... Uh, uh, comments that he's made publicly or on Twitter, uh, but Lighthizer saying there's still much work to be done. Yes, they've made some progress, but they need to know that they can enforce uh, an agreement and also s is speaking of the challenges involved simply with making a deal of this magnitude with the Chinese. Pete, you want to give me a quick comment before we jump back to the hearing room? Yep. Dow's down 88 points, been in the red for It's a staggering session. day just from the perspective of all these different testimonies going on all at the same time. I mean, that, that part's just amazing. And the fact that the market did get hit a little bit on Lighthouser, I, I think that made some sense because we all know what a deal this really is and, and what a big deal. And nobody's wanted to tackle this for decades, literally. So because of that, I think, uh, Scott, when we look at what's going on in the market, I would say it's just a, a minor reaction, really, to what people are looking at, knowing that the president himself is, is under some fire, obviously, already, and the fact that we've got to get a deal done. But what kind of deal? And that's really what the, the difference maker is going to be. It's incredible, John, that you have the president of the United States in a second summit with the leader of North Korea, and it's playing fourth fiddle on what is a <laughs> tremendously busy news day. That in and of itself is stunning. Yeah. True. And uh, I'll... Uh, go in opposite direction than Steve and Pete on this. I think this is all about Pakistan and India. I mean, markets around the world reacted to that overnight, to the shooting Good down point. of these planes and so forth. So I don't really think Lighthizer's comments are driving the market down. I don't think Cohen or anything else. I think it's really just a spillover effect, Judge from what happened over in Pakistan and India, and hopefully things calm down there. Yeah, but that's a very good and valid point.